Hey, welcome to the David Will Show. Today's episode, we're going to reveal the difference in how rich people think and how poor people think. So stay tuned. We're going to show you the secrets of what rich people do and think in order to help them be rich and what poor people do and think make them stay poor. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. And we're here with Will Fan. He's a good friend of mine. He's been featured on Forbes magazine for 30 under 30, which means 30 multimillionaires under 30 years old. He's only 29 years old right now, and he has multiple successful businesses, seven businesses right now, to be exact. He's got business all around the world, uh, very prominent and well-known here in Vancouver area. And he's gonna be sharing some of his secrets and some of his knowledge with us, so thanks, Will. Yeah, so um, what really separates, I would say, um, the poor and rich is it has to do with, uh, one of them has to do with the environment. Uh, environment comes uh, to play a big play, especially when uh, you're raised in a family that thinks a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. So this all comes down to parenting, right? Like, you know, it's kind of like when you're, you're, when you're younger, right? Have you ever wondered why, let's say, hey dad, how come you can't buy me this? He said, well, I, I don't have a son, I don't have enough money, you know, and, and what well, I would reply to my dad and, and not, I don't recommend everyone doing that, but I say, dad, how come, why don't you just make more money? <laughs> right? Yeah. So it didn't really, uh, uh, like, it didn't really ring to his head because he just thought at the time if he just worked, at the time he had, he had a team and he decided, okay, well, um, you know, this is how much we are going to make just based on the contract. There's nothing more than we're going to make other yeah, than right. this contract. So yeah. it, it really comes down to limitation uh, and, and really going back again to the environment because I'm talking about this can be the wife, uh, the friends, associations, and right. I've seen this quite often where uh, everybody's influenced by, you know, uh, the first, second degree of friendship. So. So number one is uh, what poor people do and the rich don't, right? Uh, poor people tend to, they tend to pay their bills uh, quite often. So I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, like for rich people, we kind of like say, well, bills are important, but you know, we should try to invest. That's more important, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, I think that the main thing that's different between rich and poor is the the things that poor people would say would be, I can't afford it. Yeah. Or, uh, bills to pay. <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have enough money. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when they say things like that, it's a self-limiting belief. Yeah. Whereas the rich people, what they would say is, how can I afford it? Yeah. How can I afford it? How can I find the money to get it? Yeah. Okay. So it's very different. The first one, the rich, I mean the poor, is already making a statement that says there's no, is a, is a, there's no solution to that statement. It's just like, that's it. There's no solution, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas the rich, it says, okay, I know this is expensive. I can't afford it now, but how can I afford it? Exactly. Okay, so that's the difference in, in the way they think. The rich think of opportunity, whereas the poor people think of just their current situation. Yeah, the current situation, it's kind of like, so if they had some family issue or they need to go travel, the wife needs money, uh, or maybe, uh, kid need money right so there's nothing wrong with priori uh, prioritizing that however at the same time the moment you start prior prioritizing things that you think it may matter now but in the long run how would it affect you mm -hmm. right so I think the second thing you mentioned about investment is another uh, difference in how, what the rich do and the, and the poor do is the mentality of investing okay so a poor person, when they see something to buy, they will think, um, oh, I just spent a thousand dollars or just spending ten thousand yeah. dollars. Where a rich person, what was they thinking? They would be thinking, okay, is this an investment or is it not an investment? If this is an investment, how much return am I getting from this? How much value will I get from this one thousand dollar investment? Right? Yeah, that's right. And going back to uh, the poor paying the bills and the rich investing is, the poor has to pay their credit cards all the time because they're using money that they don't have and they're limiting uh, the credits 
to just personal life habits and expenses. The rich, what they will do is they'll use their own credits and they'll go reinvest it and leverage back into the business, right? right? Either way, they're borrowing money, but then the rich are borrowing money to make more money, whereas the poor is borrowing money just to make, th- make ends meet. That's right. right. Yeah, or reducing a bill that they occur that they uh, accumulated, and it wasn't their money, so they haven't produced that. So the other thing is the, the poor tend to work less harder than the rich. Okay. So this means the poor people, they will say, I need to go have fun. I need to go spend time with my girlfriend, boyfriend. I need to go like rest. I need to do my, my thing, right? So what I realized is that that's all great. Nothing wrong with that. However, like time you cannot get back, right? So the more time you guys spend on these other things, which are great, but again, that is a lot of time to consume. Right. The rich, I would say sometimes, um, you know, they don't need to have nice things. I have seen successful people have, you know, they don't wear designer clothing or, um, you know, something I see don't have like skin problems or whatever. They don't care about that stuff. They, 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 they just think about what's going to get me from here to here at a, a certain period of time. But I'll figure out all the other stuff that all the other problems I have, like the health problems that they have, right? right? Because they have to make the money first and then they can solve everything below, right? Okay, so I think what you're saying, Will, is that the poor is just thinking about their short term or just the present. Yeah, short term present, like right. immediate, like immediate I gotta, I gotta gratification, now. right? Yeah, I gotta um, look good now, you know? Yeah, whereas the, uh, the rich will think about long term. What's the plan? Uh, and, um, change the behaviors now looking to the future so that it will change the future right does it make that's sense right. that's right so the poor people would be like um i'm just gonna do today live to the day today and then just basically oh, i just need to uh need to have fun i need to spend money on this and this and this and this and then next day do the same thing over and over again whereas a rich person would say okay where do i want to be in the next six months, where do I want to be in the next in the next year? Where do I want to be in the next two years, three years, and so on? And what do I need to do now to get me there? And what do I need to not do? And uh, and you know, kind of uh, cut off now so that I can focus on doing what I need to do now to get to where I want to go. Okay, so there's more of a future uh, focus for for rich people. That's right. It's all about uh, like habits, right? Mm-hmm. So you're probably wondering, so we talked about three things. Let's recap. Number one was what? Number one was uh, rich people, the environment. Environment. Yes. Okay. Number two was the uh, investing. Investing. Number three is uh, basically looking to the future. Right. And planning ahead. That's right. Okay. So how can you get from being poor to becoming rich? Well, first thing you can do it is to change the way you think. That's right. right. Change the way you think. And also when you change the way you think, you're able to create influence and affect the environment around you to change as well, right? Change the way you think, and then you're gonna change your behaviors, change your behaviors, you're gonna change the results you're gonna get from your behaviors, mm-hmm. change the results you're gonna get, you're gonna change your future. Mm-hmm. All, be, all starts with the way that you think. So you can rewire your brain to start thinking like a successful rich person. Mm-hmm. Eventually you become a successful rich person. If you change your mind or you keep staying and thinking the way that poor people do, you will do what poor people do. You will have the behaviors of poor people. You will have the results of a poor person and you will have a future of a poor person. That's right. Okay. So it all starts with what you think. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, comment in the comment section, like this video, share with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more awesome uh, lessons from the David Will Show. See you next Thank time. You. Bye.